Welcome, and in this video I'll be running through the basics of Photoshop. By the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of the basic software. I will show you how to create a new document, how to access layers, the workshop, the tools, and, and the images. By no means am I an expert at this software, I've just been using it very often recently and I've come to, to gain an understanding of the software. So let's open it up. Photoshop CC 2019. Don't worry, I know this video was made in 2018, but don't worry, it didn't, doesn't change that much and this will help you just as much to understand the basics. Let's open up a new file. Go to the top left and hit file and press new. We could also use control N. Command N if you are on Mac. Now we have many options to create a new document. These are just my recent items. Just create a new one and we can use any sort of setting such as 1280 by 720. I find this to be very nice. We can change the orientation. We can change the resolution and we can change the color. I recommend having it in CMYK color, of, unless of course you wanted a gray, a grayscale um, document. You can choose the background contents. I'm gonna just keep it as white. Then we can hit create. From here, we can import images. Our toolbox is on the left. To the right, we have our properties panels. And at the top, we have many windows and lay uh, different types of windows. I don't know what you'd call them, sorry. Let's begin by importing an image. Click File, Place Linked, and we can import an image. I'm just have this beach image. You can scale the image, we can rotate, and more. Hit Enter to complete. Press V, or the longer method, just click the move tool, and we can move this image around. Make sure you are clicked on its layer. That brings us to the next point, looking at layers. To create a new layer, um, you can hit Control shift n or go to the Layers panel, click New. Sorry. Go to the Layer panel, click New, and Layer. We can name it what we like and we can arrange where we want this position. As you can see, we cannot place it behind the background. If you want to place the layer behind the background, simply double click on the background layer and just press OK. This has converted it into a basic layer. We can now arrange it behind and we can arrange the background wherever we wish. Perfect. We have the channels and paths. We won't run a, we won't um, be looking at them in this video. Um, you don't need this to begin with, although if you would like to see this, just I'll make the video. Now we have the navigator and histogram, which again, I'll run through that another time. From here, we can open up windows. We can press the window panel and we can open up certain panels, such as brushes, brush settings, and many more. We can open up a workspace by clicking the workspace icon and moving across and choosing one of these. We can choose a painting, photography, motion, graphic and web, 3D or essentials. There are many more and we can reset the photography one if we want to. We can reset the uh, selected um, workspace. Now let's move on to the, to the tools panel. We have many tools such as smudging where we can smudge um, different um, colors together and different layers together. We have the brush tool and many more. I'm not going to run through all of these. I just want to give a basic um, idea of how to navigate them. You simply left click on the icon you have. Most of them have defaults as well, um, such as the text tool, which you press T to access. There are ways to change these, although I will not run that through that today. We can edit what we've done and we can hear the layers and everything else that we were running through. Now, finally, to finish off, let's sh let me show you how to export. Click File, Export. You can quick export as a PNG. You can export as 
let me just export it as a PNG for this one. PNGs work great, I guess. If you want a more high quality, you can change some of the settings. We can then choose where we want this saved. Let me just go into this tutorials folder. We can name it whatever we like. And press enter. This will export and it shouldn't take too long. It depends on the speed of your computer. Mine's very slow and already it's finished. Basically, that's just the real, real basics of Photoshop. As you can see, it definitely won't make you a pro, but I guess it's better to have a quick explanation than to have nothing. So if you'd like more in depth, um, I'll, I'm learning more Photoshop every day, I guess. So um, thank you.